Staying on? Okay, fine. Yo, Sanjo Uchiha here, people. What's going on? So, of course, I'm bringing another Dragon Ball discussion segment on this lovely Sunday, what, afternoon? <laughs> well, I guess it depends on your time zone. Of course, we'll be talking about Dragon Ball Super specifically, so be sure to rate, comment, subscribe, give me your thoughts, hit that bell to get notifications, you know the drill. So, as the thumbnail and the title implies, we'll be talking about Dragon Ball Super. Of course, based on how this video is going so far, you already know it's not going to be any fancy smanji editing or anything like that. I just wanted to have a conversation, a little dialogue with um, fellow fans of the, the franchise and the show itself um, regarding Dragon Ball Super's production. And the thing is, I've kind of thought about it over the, you know, on and off over the two years since Super started and... I really think that the whole, the, the whole, the biggest challenge in Super becoming objectively good at the end of the day and being this well-written, um, awesome sequel to Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z that we, the, that awesome series we had back in the day is really true. The biggest challenge to it, to accomplishing that is itself and the production process, honestly. So if on screen here, I, I have the interview that was done with Toyotaro and Toriyama, um, which was released with the recent volume of Dragon Ball Super, the Future Trunks arc, and they really and truly talk about the ins and outs of the, the Future Trunks arc in terms of writing, Toriyama's doubts in terms of how he would have handled the arc, changes made, and all of that. You can check it out. This is on Herm's 98's page. He has a full translation there. Check him out. But... The thing is, the, the interview as well as the interview with the director and, well, ex-director and producer of Dragon Ball Super that I actually covered in my Dragon Ball Super 2018 video, it hammers home what we already know in the sense that Super, in terms of writing and how it comes together, is that Toriyama has an outline and Toyotaro and Toei each take the outline and do their own interpretations of the, of the story, getting from point A to point B, um, and sure, points A and B happen is good, but they decide how they get from point A to point B. But it, it kind of occurs to me that the biggest problem with um, Super, I think, is that probably too many people are involved in terms of who gets to say how the story goes, honestly speaking. And I think it's really evident in the in the universe survival arc, well, probably in the entirety of Super, honestly, with them cherry picking, I'd say, a lot of things from, I guess, the outline, probably getting suggestions from directors here and there. I just think that if Super had like the traditional route where the manga, there was a manga and then an anime adaptation of the manga that would have been the better route to take. Honestly, that's just my opinion, but that's just how I feel about it. And it's not that I don't like the whole Toyotaro doing his version and Toy doing their version. It makes it interesting on a monthly basis to see like the differences. That's always interesting. But at the end of the day, objectively speaking, you could, Super isn't good really and truly. Like we review this thing um week to week as content creators dragon ball content creators or even just anime content creators um voicing their opinions on a weekly or monthly basis but objectively speaking super isn't really all that oh, message all that and it's not that we're singing high praise to like dragon ball and dragon ball z to say it was this awesome level of writing because even those even those days with Toriyama there are a lot of problems with the series but it just feels like um with the amount of people involved with Super in terms of writing um obviously on the manga side it's just Toriyama and, and Toyotaro which to me like it just feels if you've been watching my videos you know I prefer the manga over the anime whatever but the manga feels better but that's not the point of this video but with the amount of people involved it feels like mistakes that were made in Z and Dragon Ball. It feels like they happen more often. <laughs> Is that they happen more often, or they um they're overall worse than the problem? They take the problems from Z and make it like a lot worse. <laughs> like so that, that that that's the thing. Like I just feel like the production of Super like is 
is its own enemy. Like, it in itself prevents the show, the series, from becoming this the sequel that it needs to be. <sighs> but I don't know. Give give me your thoughts on it. Um, in terms of if you th think Super should have been produced along the lines of a more traditional route. Um, probably on Toei's side, probably a little less. Probably they should have select writers for for the for the anime. I, I don't know. Probably that could have improved it. Maybe <laughs> I don't know. I mean, just I'm just kind of voicing my thoughts on this video here. Um, of course, you you could I'll well check out Herm's ninety eight page. This interview that we have here with Toriyama and Toritar is pretty pretty interesting. It's a good read. Um, of course, this is like way down in his feed because a lot of people obviously covered the this interview like a week or two ago. So there's that. Um, and of course, I'll, I'll link to my Dragon Ball Super 2018 video discussing the contents of this interview on Concentro. So there's that as well. But let me know what you guys think in terms of Super being its own enemy in terms of its production process and if it's really and truly killing the quality of the writing. Um, I was at the end of the day, Dragon Ball isn't like this top tier in-depth writing uh, quality story, like say a Hunter Hunter or, um, or Naruto or a Full Metal Alchemist per se, but, um, but at the end of the day, it was never intended to be that. So there's that as well. But anyway, Sanjay Uchiha, hope you enjoyed this little discussion and conversation that we're having here well i'm, I'm the one talking here but whatever <laughs> so there's that um rate comment subscribe be sure to check out my dragon ball super 114 episode 114 review that's already up did it and i'll see you in the next one sanjay uchiha hope you enjoyed the rest of your sunday i'm out nah. <laughs>